Welcome to Lecture Zero of Networks, Friends, Money, and Bytes. We are very excited to offer this undergraduate course at Princeton University through online open education platforms. This course is structured around 20 questions about the social, economic, and technological networks in our daily lives. Let's embark on this journey together through this overview lecture. And here is a three-minute snapshot of a typical network life. I say this is you, okay? and you have your wonderful iPhone or Galaxy smartphone. And you pick it up while waiting in line at a coffee shop. And you Google a particular actor. Okay? And then you get linked to a Wikipedia entry of this actor listing some of the recent movies and popular YouTube video clips. Now you check out some of the reviews on IMDb and decide to watch one of the movies. Now you may want to do that on platforms like BitTorrent or maybe you want to stream it on Netflix. But for some reason, the Wi-Fi logo on your iPhone disappeared and now you are on the 3G mobile data network. Now the video quality start to degrade a little bit. You don't know whether there's something wrong in the cloud or maybe the internet is getting congested somewhere. In any case, you have to pay $10 for every gigabyte of data consumption on your 3G data plan. So you decide to stop watching the movie and instead multitask among several things. For example, sending tweets or maybe streaming music from iCloud or maybe calling your friend on Skype. Now the quality of the call on Skype might be pretty good but you might be a little irritated when you see they have no new followers on Twitter. The entire episode happened in over maybe a three minute span and we already touched more than a dozen networking technology and services that we increasingly are finding to be essential to our daily lives. And this course is about these networks. It's about the Facebook network, okay, where a node is a Facebook user and the link could be a bi-directional relationship, okay, a friendship, or maybe a unidirectional relationship of subscriber. Okay. Alice subscribed to Bob, but not the other way around. It's about Twitter networks. Okay. A blue dot is a Twitter user account and a link between two users could be a follower relationship. Again, that's unidirectional. Okay. A follows B, B may not follow A. It's about the Wikipedia network where each node is a Wikipedia article and the link between two articles represents a hyperlink embedded in the text or a reference. It's about the YouTube network, where each node is a YouTube clip and a link between two clips uh, may represent what's called a co-visitation relationship. A typical user might be watching these two video clips about the same time. You might also be recommended after you finish watching one and YouTube shows you the other. It's about the Internet upon which these services have been built. Now the internet graph may show in different shapes. One example is that a node is an autonomous system, okay, an internet internet service provider, and the link between the two could represent either a physical or a business relationship. Or it could be a graph where a node is a router. Okay, it's a network equipment that's responsible for forwarding packets, and a link is a physical link, for example, a fiber connection. Now it's about the peer-to-peer -peer network, abbreviated as P2P, where each node is a peer. Okay? It is both a destination and a source of content, for example, in BitTorrent or PP Live. And a link is a logical relationship that says these two nodes are peering with each other. And we often see a tree-like topology where there are some root nodes 
and they start spreading the content over a tree. It's about access network. We all need to go through an access network in order to get to the rest of the internet. And these access networks might be over wires, such as fiber, copper, DSL, or coaxial cables. It could also be wireless, for example, 3G or 4G LTE in the cellular network standard. Or it could be over the Wi-Fi network, a local area wireless network. Or it could be over satellite network. Now it's about, for example, the powerful mobile cellular network. And this shows a 3G coverage in the US by one of the bigger wireless operators in the country. Now these 3G networks, just like the other wireless networks, operate on what's called electromagnetic spectrum. And this shows the United States frequency allocation of this radio spectrum. Part of it is devoted to 3G, part of that to 4G, and part of that to activities such as Wi-Fi. Now, if you look across these kinds of networks, there are technological networks like these, okay, like the internet. There are also social economic networks like these. So this course is about all of these kind of networks. And it is a course that's going to be oriented around 20 questions. As you will see in the next module of this video lecture, that these 20 questions span a very broad landscape of intellectual and practical interest. You may ask, what is this course about then? It's actually hard to provide a departmental label to it. It talks about engineering, it talks about computers, it talks about sociology, it talks about economics. And what's important is not the departmental labels, but that it is intellectually exciting and is practically relevant. In the next module, we're going to go through a preview. It's like a movie trailer. And just like any good movie trailer, you're not supposed to understand what's going on. In fact, you really should not understand the terms I'll be using in the next 30 minutes. The whole point is to whet your appetite so that you are motivated to go through the rest of the course with me. So don't be alarmed if you say, gee, I don't quite understand what he's talking about. Well, that's the whole point. You should not understand what I'll be talking about. But let's see what kind of interesting topics awaits us in this course. And we'll visualize all of them through pictures, one picture for each lecture.